How's it going, everyone, and welcome back to Rangers Rundown. They put together another win, their second win this season against the New Jersey Devils, the first one coming back in November, where they won 4-3 in the shootout. That was also the game where we watched Sammy Blay get injured uh, with his season-ending injury. So, of course, Subban booed every single time he touched the puck tonight which was nice to see because I myself am not a huge Subban fan. He also took a penalty tonight, which was nice to see. Rooney is officially week to week with an upper body injury. He took a stick to the face uh, in the previous game, uh, which sent him to the locker room uh, where he was deemed not fit to return. But turns out he will be out for at least a week, probably more. So both Kako and Rooney week to week on the IR. The lineup tonight, Kreider, Zibanejad, Lafreniere, Panarin, Strom, Hunt, um, Goudreau, Heedle, and Gautier. And then Brodzinski, Barron, and Reeves made up that fourth line. Lindgren, Fox, Miller, Trubin, Nemeth, Schneider, and Shesterkin in net. First line immediately gets into the offensive zone for a couple chances. And then second line also spends a full shift in the offensive zone. So for the first couple minutes, the Rangers completely owned the puck and the pace of this hockey game. New Jersey pushes back around four minutes, uh, four and a half minutes in. Nemeth had a very nice reverse hit on Bastion, kind of put him on his butt. Shesterkin stops a Heischer breakaway plus a rebound. And Shesterkin did that multiple times tonight where he would stop a player's shot and then stop that player, that same player's second try on a rebound off of their own shot. He played extremely well tonight. 7.43, Panarin takes a cross-checking penalty, and Brodzinski is on the first penalty kill unit, so good for him. He was just re-signed by the Rangers for a two-year deal. So we will probably see more of Brodzinski in the future. Depends on what they do with Greg McKegg and players of that ilk. 11-11, Zibanejad scores the first goal of the game. It was a Truba point shot. There was a rebound in front. Zibanejad able to collect it and put it away. Very shortly after that, Strom is set up by Hunt from behind the net. Strom puts it wide. Six and a half minutes left in the period. Shesterkin makes a slave on a deflection shot. He had his glove in the right spot, and Shesterkin's just amazing at positioning. So his glove was there. He made the save. Six, uh, nope, 13.56 Heischer would score the only goal of the game for the Devils. Uh, he made a move to get past Lindgren at the blue line. He's alone with Shesterk, and he's able to put it past him. New Jersey almost scores right after that to go up 2-1, but luckily Shesterkin knows what he's doing. 15-08, Reeves takes a goalie interference penalty. I guess he kind of lost track of where he was in his line. He bumps into Nico Dawes, puts him on his butt. Ref sees it, hand goes up. Um, Brodzinski and Gudra have a shorthanded two-on-one, though. Uh, Brodzinski able to saucer it over a Devils player, get it on the stick of Goudreau, um, but wasn't able to put it in. 1913, Goudreau and Subban have a fight. Uh, obviously, the Rangers don't really like Subban because he slew foot Blay, and that's the reason he's out for the season. So they fight. Always nice to see. Uh, New Jersey has some late period shots um, up until the buzzer, which makes the lines come together right at the very end because New Jersey's trying very hard to get one in for, before the buzzer, which means they're swiping around Shesterkin a little too much. Uh, so the lines do come together, but then we go into the intermission. Shot 16 to 12 in favor of the Rangers. It was a complete shooting gallery in the first period. Very antithetical to the rest of the game. We get into the second period, and not much happens for the first five and a half minutes of that period. It was a complete 180. Period one, high flying, high offense, shooting everywhere. First five and a half minutes, nothing. Both teams playing back on their heels, playing very defensive. But at 535, Geertsen takes a cross-checking penalty. Remember, Geertsen uh, started the preseason with the Rangers. He was at Rangers camp. He was immediately traded to the Devils. So it was kind of weird seeing Geertsen one day and then seeing him on the Devils the very next day. Um, but he's still with the Devils. A horrible power play for the Rangers uh, to start that second period. Eight minutes in, the shots are only 2-1 to one in favor of New Jersey. Very, very low shooting period. But at 8.57, Heedle would score what would be the game-winning goal. 
Lindgren intercepts a neutral zone pass, and then he leads the rush, gets it to Heedle. Heedle snipes it. Rangers go up two to one. That was Heedle's, I believe, sixth goal of the season, his second in the last five games. He's one of those players where he might be on the chopping block. And if he wants to stay with the Rangers, now is the time for him to start getting hot. And that benefits everybody if he does. If he gets hot and he goes on kind of a tear for the rest of the season, he solidifies his position in this lineup. And the Rangers have another forward that can score consistently. Because outside of the first line and a half, scoring depth kind of is not great for the Rangers. So it's in everybody's best interest if this is the start of something great for Heedle. Fourth line has a very gritty shift shortly after that. Truba, big hit on Heischer, puts him on his butt. Brzezinski gets set up in the circle with about four minutes left. I would love to see him score a goal. Shesterkin, great save moving across the crease. And then right after Shesterkin stops Graves, uh, but Graves crashes through the crease. Shesterkin comes out to meet him, gets his helmet knocked off, ends up saving the puck, but Graves does bump into Shesterkin. Loses his helmet, but he's fine. Shots 9-5 to five in favor of New Jersey at the end of the second period. So shots pretty much cut in half from period 1 to period 2. Third period, four stoppages in the first 90 seconds of the period. So a sluggish start to the period. Truba with a big block in the slot, and then Shesterkin with a big shoulder save right after. Devils trying to tie this game, trying to get some sort of momentum to maybe carry them into a win tonight. VZ and Schneider have some words after VZ hits Zibanejad. Um, I didn't quite catch what happened, but VZ did something to Zibanejad. Schneider didn't like that. 545, Strom takes a slashing penalty. So Strom gets slashed, and then he turns around, and he ends up slashing the wrong player in retaliation. Um, but the ref saw it. He goes to the box. Shesterkin, multiple great saves during that penalty kill. A couple player shoots, gets his own rebound. Shesterkin makes the save again. So a couple of double saves on that penalty kill for Shesterkin. Brzezinski and Strom, two on one. And Strom completely whiffs on the open net again for what seems like the hundredth time this season. I don't know when Strom's fear of empty nets began, but it still exists to this day. Um, 8.27, Nemeth and VZ take offsetting slashing penalties. This happened during the commercial break, so we couldn't see it live. They did show the replay. You know, they're chipping at each other, and then the sticks get involved. They both go to the penalty box, so we get two minutes of four-on-four. Four. Truba, very good chance during that four-on-four. Four. But then at 11.23, Kreider would score his 36th goal of the season. Fox really long outlet pass to Zibanejad at the blue line. He sets up Kreider in the high slot, and it's like the quickest one-timer you've ever seen. Gets it to the back of the net. Rangers go up 3-1. to 13.45, Janssen takes a roughing penalty. Heedle and Subban have a little scuffle in front of the net after the whistle. Uh, Kreider just chips it wide after a nice Zibanejad pass that I don't think Kreider was totally ready for. And then another play gets Miller right in front of the net with the puck, and he puts it just wide. So the Rangers very close on two separate occasions to make this 4-1. to one. Subban takes a tripping penalty at 16-51, sticks his skate out, trips Panarin as he's trying to get to the slot. Crowd loves that, so Subban goes to the box. Another power play for the Ranger that does not score, but they don't need it to because they're already up 3-1. to one. Devils pull the goalie with 45 seconds left, but it wouldn't matter because the Rangers seal the deal. Shots 32-33 uh, to 33 in favor of the Devils. Face-offs. Rangers actually won 60% of the face-offs if the app is correct, which the app was kind of wonky today, so that might not be right, but that's at least what it said 10 minutes ago. Power play went 0 for 3. Hits 27-19 in favor of the Rangers. Blocks 18-11 to 11 also in favor of the Rangers. The trivia question of the evening, who holds the Rangers record for lowest goals against average over an entire season? Now, Shesterkin currently leads the entire NHL in both goals against average and save percentage. He is the best goalie in the league. He's in third place 
for wins, and he's in first place for both of those stats. You can argue that he's not the best goalie in the league, but he is. You would be wrong in that argument. He is absolutely the best goalie in the league, and he will be in conversations for the Vezina and probably the Hart as well. We'll see what happens at the end of the season. It's If Fox goes on another tear and Shesterkin stays consistent, we could have both the Vezina and the Norris Trophy winner on the same team, which would be incredible. But the answer to this trivia question, we have to go all the way back to 1928. The 1928-29 season, a 1.41 goals against average for the season by John Ross Roach. So there you go. That's digging deep into some history. The Rangers play again Sunday night, 7 o'clock in Winnipeg. So now the Rangers are going on a four-game road trip. So they'll play Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Uh, all on the road, but it starts in Winnipeg Sunday evening. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more videos like it, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next rundown.